please rise, ladies and gentlemen. The 16th Sangguniang Panlalawigan is now convened for its ninth regular session. The Honorable Vice Governor Adeline M. Angeles presiding. The ninth regular session of the 16th Sangguniang Panlalawigan of this province is now called to order. Requesting the Honorable Leva, the birthday uh, celebrator, to please lead the invocation to be followed by the national anthem and uh, the Marinduque March, then the board members creed by Honorable Danny Red. Let us feel the presence of the Lord in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Loving Heavenly Father, as we gather in this session hall, we come to you this hour to ask for your blessings and guidance. Give us the desire to find ways to excel in our work. Help us to work together and encourage each other to excellence. We ask for your guidance so that we might walk fully in your blessing and goodness today. Look upon us in your mercy and forgive us our failings. Thank you for your great love and blessing over our lives. Thank you for the favor that has no end, but it lasts for our lifetime. Lord, make us mostly public servants of our province. We deeply love and highly honor. We ask this in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. In the name of the Father, of the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. <laughs> Oh, my God. 
I am a provincial board member. Given the mandate to serve. Given the mandate to serve. My constituency through responsible. My constituency through responsible. Responsive and effective legislation. Responsive and respective legislation. Provide dynamic leadership. Provide dynamic leadership. Promote and maximize the delivery of basic services. Promote and maximize the delivery of basic services for the general welfare. For the general welfare. Under the regime of truly conservative. Under the regime of truly conservative. And participative democracy. And participative democracy. I impose upon myself. I impose my, upon myself. The supreme obligation to perform. The supreme obligation to perform. To carry out the functions prescribed by law. And, ca and carry out the provision subscribed by law. And with utmost dedication. And with utmost dedication. Thereby becoming a genuine catalyst of change. Thereby becoming a genuine catalyst of change. In my locality and our nation. In my locality and our nation. Please be seated. Mr. Secretary, please call the roll. Honorable Mark Julius P. Caballes, Honorable Aurelio J. Leba III, Present. Honorable Antonio L. Mangkukang III, Honorable Bernadine Opis Mercado, Honorable Melgabal R. N. Cabo, Honorable Mercedes Ariano, Honorable Danilo R. Red, Honorable Ismael D. Pilim, Honorable Neril L. Mangol, Honorable Baldomero L. Limpiada, Honorable Loren R. Rosales. Madam Presiding Officer, with the nine members of the Board present, we have the necessary quorum for this morning session. Noting that uh, we have the necessary quorum, uh, the chair declares the presence of quorum. We can proceed with the order of business. Yes, what is the pleasure of Honorable Rehano? Uh, magandang umaga po. As uh, ipi, pina alam ko lamang po sa ating uh, kapulungan na sana naman po ginagarawa na rin po natin yung Marinduque March. Pakimarcha naman po naman yung mga do what is the action and uh, para po naman may buhay ang ating ano hindi po yung nakatila na laan po tulad po ng malalaki ang tiyan <laughs> thank you po madam presiding officer marami pong salamat sa inyong paalala kagalang-galang uh, Rico Hermoso what is now the pleasure of Hermoso collection ah. <laughs> Honorable Mayor Cirejano, uh, ano po ang, uh, what's the pleasure of Honorable uh, uh, Leva, the majority uh, floor leader? I subscribe to the suggestion of the good lady from Santa Cruz that we march the way to happiness through the marching of the Marinduki March. Mukha pong maganda ang gising ng mga kagalang-galang hamyembro ng sangguli ang panlalawigan ngayong araw na ito. Dahil ako po ay nakapagsumba na. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Yes, uh, magandang umaga po sa ating lahat at ngayon din sa ating mga panauhin. Uh, maganda at masaya ang... Uh, Mukhang masaya ang session natin ngayon. Nagkaroon ng fun run, so it's really fun. fun. <laughs> so, uh, recognizing the Honorable uh, Floor Leader. Thank you very much, Madam Presiding Officer, and good morning. For the reading and adoption of the minutes of the 8th regular session dated August 31, 2022, I move with, that we dispense the reading of the minutes without prejudice to the uh, manifestation of correction and amendments from the members of the board. I so move. The floor moves for the deferment or uh, for the dispense. The reading of the minutes be dispensed without prejudice to the uh, correction and second to that motion, please be seconded. Any objection? Okay, the motion is carried. Mr. Chairman, Mr. Chairman, we have some corrections or clarifications from the minutes of the previous session. Any member of this office value the correction to the minutes that we have at hand? Maybe none. Madam President, I hope that we adopt and approve the minutes of the April session, which is August 31, 2024. 
there is a motion to approve the uh, minutes of the August 31 uh, 2020 session. Any second to that? Do we second any objection? The chair hears none. The minutes of the August 31 session uh, for this year or this year is now approved. For the proceeding, we proceed to recognizing the Honorable Ismael Lim from Santa Cruz. Please consider in the role, uh, Mr. Secretary. Yes, a majority leader. For the proceeding, uh, officer, uh, on the matters arising from the minutes, uh, we will try to take a record that last uh, session we have adopted resolutions of accreditation to. Uh, Civil Society's organization for the third 2022 to 2025, as well as we have adopted a resolution commending the Bureau of Fire Protection and uh, as well as Mr. Archie uh, Narita. And for that matter, I move that we suspend the rules so that we can give the application certificates and uh, resolutions to these uh, individuals and uh, civil society organizations. I move for the suspension of the rules as in as far as allowing uh, non-members of the boards to be uh, to participate in this uh, opposition. I so move. A final motion of the chairperson of the committee on rules at the same time, our floor leader. The uh, rules uh, of today's session is hereby suspended to give way to our visitors. Madam Presiding Officer, last session we have adopted various resolutions of participation to the different uh, civil society organizations in the province of the Republic for the one of the provisions of local government code of 1991 and implementing rules and regulations. We would like to ask that the uh, presiding officer, together with the chairperson of the committee of civil society of organization, has the resolution of accreditation as well as the uh, certificate of accreditation to the public civil society organization. But it will be council for environmental concern uh, to be represented by Mount Elizabeth E. Macron, the Executive Secretary and Executive Manager. May I ask Ms. Macron to come out of the other podiums to receive their certificate of recognition as well as the resolution. Requesting the uh, representative from Manset, Ms. Kenneth Mangoni. He's being invited to the box. My employee council for environmental sponsor. Congratulations, Bob. You are one of the appointed civil society organizations of the official government of the country. My employee to the district of the Manbao, Clarious Transport Cooperative, represented by Dr. Edwin C. Perlas, Chairperson. May uh, we ask the representative of B4 Cito? For B Cito. Okay. Next. This is the Bakum Transport Service Cooperative, headed by Mr. Roderick Mutardo, chairperson. Iniimbitahan po natin ang mga representative ng mga organisasyon na tinatawag uh, para po pumunta po dito sa unahan para personal po na tanggapin ang resolution of accreditation. Congratulations to MR Multipurpose Cooperative. Uh, Luzon Datum uh, Service Cooperative, Mr. Roderick Mortado. Thank you. 
ay excuse me wag po muna nga alis yung mga nauna meron po tayong grupa yung resolution ng ano ay kay Masik ay paki ano lang Okay, congratulations. Another is MR Multipurpose Cooperative represented by Mr. Rubinal Rodas, chairperson. Sige po. Pwede pakiano ninyo dyan? Congratulations, MR Multipurpose Cooperative. Another is Panod Bayan Contra Kirimen Guardians Brotherhood or Tabak represented by Ms. Criselda Gibara, President. Next is Kawit Butterfly Beaders Village headed by Ms. Elizabeth Lumawig Heistman. Next is the multi-purpose social action Marinduque Social Action Multi-Purpose Cooperative or Masangko headed by Pulciano Arreya General Manager Supplier of Mongo Cars <laughs> Next is Kabalikat CBCOM 475 Marinduki Chapter headed by Mr. Vincent A. Camo. Hi, Tita Beth. Welcome. Masamko. Kung gusto po ninyo makatikim ng cars, ng Mongo cars, bumili lang kayo sa Masangko. So, oh. <laughs> Hindi, si Bukal Merci daw magbigay. Next is Kabalikat, CBCOM 475, Marinduki Chapter, headed by Mr. Vincent Camo. Another is the National Chaplains of the Philippines, Marinduki Chapter, headed by Chaplain Joel Pisquesa, Municipal Director. Kabalikat. Kabalikat, Cibicom. Wala pa po. Next is Alpha P Omega. Ano pa? Kabalikat. National Chaplain. Wala pa, wala pa. Uh, next is Alpha B Omega. Marinduking nagkakaisa sa isip, sa diwa, isip at nasa. Headed by Brad Joben M. Williams, A.K.A. Guapo. <laughs> Mr. Trabe. Alpha. Alpha. Next is Marinduque Foundation Incorporated or Marinduque represented by Ms. Tona B. Calayo, Executive Director. Another po is the Marinduque Union of Cooperatives headed by Alpha A. Gutierrez B.O.D. Chairperson. Marinduque Union of Cooperatives. Next is the Marinduque Diocesan Development Cooperative headed by Mr. Carlito Babalenya, BOT Chairperson. Nandiyan ba si Carling? Next 
Next is React Philippines Incorporated, Moriones Group, headed by Jerome Nambio, Group Chief. Ay, isa pa, oh. Isa pa, tayo lamang sa... Next is Marinduque Tourism Association Incorporated, headed by Ms. Susan Nache, CPA, President. Nasaan si Susan? Kay Susan tayo. Nasaan si Susan? Yan. Nayan na. Ma'am Susan. Kay Susan tayo. Ito pa ito pa kasama ito sa ito. Blandi ang buhok ngayon niya. Ito na resolution. Thank you. Next is the Philippine Rural Construction Movement, Marindukid Chapter, headed by Mr. Dolphin and Natal Jr. President. Thank you. Huwag po po nang maalis yung mga ina-credit ay yung na-awardan. Next is the Marinduque Guardians Brotherhood headed by Police Lieutenant Binacio Neri Maling retired founding chairman. Nandiyan si Sir Maling. Nakita ko. Guardians Next is IRAIS, an advocate for Marinduque Province Incorporated, or IRAM, headed by Mr. Mark Cesar A. Ola, Chairman and Executive Director. IRAIS. IRAIS. Ah, siya pala. Madam Presiding Officer, the status quo is that we are still on the suspended rules. And may I give the floor to the Presiding Officer again? Yes, sapagkat madalang ang pagkakataon na ang lahat ng mga accredited organizations natin ay nakasama ng mga bukal requesting the members of this August body, those who may be interested to give some uh, short message or words for them in not more than uh, two minutes each, okay lang ba yan? Uh, to greet our visitors. May I ask that we recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Civil Society? The chairperson of the Committee on uh, NGO, Honorable Mercy Rehano, is recognized. Madam Chair, since we are still on the matters arising from the minutes, and for, on that uh, note, I move that we revert back to its original form, to the uh, original form of the Sangkuni Ampalaluikan. I so move. There is a motion, and upon the motion of the uh, Honorable Leva, the... Uh, the uh, The, the, rules, the, the rules is now no, resumed. resumed. Um, isang magandang magandang umaga po. Maraming salamat sa ating presiding office. Ganyan din po sa ating floor leader. Sa ating pong mga kasamahan sa panunungkulan, mga bukal ng lalawigan. At ganyan din po, ang lahat po nang nandirito, lalo tigit ay ang ating pong mga miyembro ng ating mga accredited, accredited CO, CSO. Isang magandang magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat. At bilang chairman po ng ating civil society organization, ginawa po natin lahat at ako po ay nagpapasalamat sapagkat kayo po ay tumugon sa, uh, sa, pag, uh, sa pag-participate dito sa ating uh, pagpapakredit o pagkilala ng ating mga civil society organization. At sa pagkakataon pong ito, huwag po kayong mag-alaala. Ginagawa po ng pamamalahaan ng ating leluwigan, lalo tigit po ng ating mahal na gobernador, na noong pa po man ay ang layunin ay tayo ay ang lahat ng ating mga barangay ay magkaroon ng civic organization at ito po ang isa sa kauunlad na ikatutulong sa ating pamayanan. Sa ngayon po, ang hinihiling ng ating isa po sa proposed agenda ng ating ng inyo pong abal lingkod sa tulong po ng ating mahal na Vice Governor na tayo po ay maglaan 
ng kaunting pundo para po sa initial o pang pangunahing gastusin man lamang ng ating kooperatiba at iyan po ay ibibigay at gagawa natin pa ng ordinansa para po tayo ay maaming magsuportahan na galing po sa ating probinsya. Kaya wag po tayong mag-alala, ang hinihiling lang po namin na basta po at ito ay ma ito po ay maibigay namin maybe it is for our first quarter meeting na kayo po ay ipatatawag at uh, order kaya ay baka po bago magkaroon ng eleksyon ng uh, local social board so, si, uh, ng local special board bodies ay kayo ito po ay maiibigay namin sa inyo ang inyong initial fund para sa mga na-accredit na mga civic organization. Ano po? Uh, yan po naman siguro ay kami ay inyong uh, mapapag, masasabing kami ay hindi nagpapabaya para sa ating mga organization. At yan po ay galing sa ating mahal na gobernador suporta para sa ating ng mga organization tulad po ninyo. Kaya ang hinihiling po natin, mga mahal na labing walong na credit sa araw na ito ay kayo po ay hinihinga namin ng, so, ng uh, activity plan para po doon sa ibibigay nating uh, nakalaan na pondo sa inyo. Kung hindi man po ito malaki at hindi man po ito makakasustain, at least mayroon malamang po tayong pang paperworks at pang masahe doon sa ating uh, mga organisasyon. So sa inyo pong lahat, sa pangalan po, sa pamumuno po ng ating vice gobernador at lalo't higit sa ating pong gobernador, hinihiling po namin na maging ang mga organisasyon ito ay isa sa mga ikapagtatagumpay at pagkakaisahan po natin. Magkakaroon po tayo ng quarterly meeting na yan po ay ilalahad ninyo ang inyong, uh, ang inyong mga nagawa at ilalahad rin po kung ano ang inyong gagawin pa sa inyong mga organisasyon. Ito po ay hindi ipangayon lamang. Every three years po, mayroon po tayong accreditation ng ating mga organisasyon. Kaya sa inyo po lahat, maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong partisipasyon, sa pagpa-accredit at kayo po ay isa sa mga sasama. It's either yung po ay apat na apat na uh, civic, uh, ano ito, na soci local social bodies, mayroon po dong school board, mayroon po dong health board, mayroon po dong peace and order board, at ay, tatlo, at the council. Ano po? Kaya kayo pong labing walo ay kasama doon para kayo ay umupo at magiging katulong ng ating pamahalaan sa paggagawa uh, ng ating mga tungkulin sa ikauunlad ng ating leluwigan. Sa inyo pong lahat, maraming maraming salamat. Magandang umaga sa inyo lahat. Madam Mar maraming salamat po. Uh, Kagalang-galang Mercy Rihano. Honorable Leva. May ask that to recognize the Honorable Gentleman from uh, the Municipality of Buak, the Honorable Mark Tullius Caballes. The Honorable Gentleman from Buak, uh, Honorable Caballes, is recognized. Uh, thank you po, Vice, and uh, thank you po, uh, Bukal Jojo, our Majority Floor Leader. So, good morning po sa mga kasamahan ko sa Sangguniang Palalawigan. Uh, gusto na ako pong i-congratulate ang uh, ating mga civil society organizations uh, kay Tita Mercy po bilang, uh, kay Bukal Mercy Rihano bilang chairperson so ng committee on uh, civil society organizations so uh, siguro po nagataka po iba kung bakit uh, gusto ko po magsalita dahil uh, alam ko po at uh, parte po ng aking uh, platforma ng eleksyon ay yung active participation at mas makabuluhang partisipasyon ng mga civil society organizations uh, sa provincial development at uh, gusto ko lang po i-congratulate yung 18 na civil society organizations at bilang uh, chairperson po ng uh, committee on appropriations makakaasa po kayo kasama po si uh, mga kasama namin bukal uh, most, especially, most especially po si bukal Mercerihano na uh, masuporta po kami at hindi lang po natatapos sa 
accreditation, yung support na na matanggap niyo sa amin at maghahanap po kami ng iba pang paraan para po mas ma maging malawak at makabuluhan ang inyong uh, partisipasyon sa pagpapaunlad ng ating probinsya. At uh, yun po sa pagiging bias, no? gusto ko lang po bigyan ng special greeting ang organization na nakabilangan ko kung saan ako po ay legal officer, yung Alpha Phi Omega Man din, ang um, presidente po ay si uh, Tito Joven at uh, may isa pa po pong member ng Sagunayang Panlalawigan, uh, si Bukal Danny Red po ay isa rin pong member ng Apo Man din, na kung saan uh, kaya alam po namin yung importansya po ng uh, partisipasyon ng civil society organizations dahil yan po mga organisasyon na yan yan po yung feeding program, nag medical mission, uh, mga cooperatives na natulong po sa mga members at uh, kumbaga mutual help and uh, development ng mga members tungo po sa uh, kumbaga mas uh, maunlad uh, na mga organisasyon sa ating probinsya. So, congratulations po ulit at uh, Uh, sana po ay mas madalas po namin kayo makasama sa trabaho at uh, kung huwag po kayo mahiyang lumapit sa iba't ibang mga committees na, napaka, na nakabilangan ng inyong mga uh, grupo. So maraming salamat po at magandang umaga po ulit sa inyo lahat. Maraming salamat, uh, kagalang-galang kabalyes. Madam Presiding Officer, may ask to recognize the uh, gentleman from the Municipality of Mugpog, the Honorable Tres Mangkukang. The gentleman from uh, Mugpog, Honorable Mangkukang is recognized. Maraming salamat po sa ating uh, floor leader, Bokal Jojo Deva, at sa ating Presiding Officer. Sa lahat po ng ating mga Uh, newly accredited uh, civic organizations dito po sa lalawigan ng Marinduque. Isa pong marugdob na pagbati sa inyong lahat. At uh, ang akin lamang pong uh, gustong uh, i-impart sa inyong lahat. Ano po, kayo ay magiging kabahagi na ng uh, local special bodies at ng provincial development council ng ating lalawigan. Kanya po, ay uh, ito na yung daan at simula na kayo ay magiging katuwang ng pamalaang panalawigan sa pag-ugit sa mga programa, plano para sa lalo pang ikauundad ng ating lalawigan. At mapalad po kayo sa dilang mapalad sapagkat sa dami ng mga organisasyon, kayo yung nakabuo at nakakumplay ng kompletong dokumento na siyang kayo ang mga napili labing walo. At uh, ito na po ang panahon upang madinig ang boses ng inyong mga hanay ng sektor. Speak up, stand up, magsalita po kayo. Ibahagi ninyo kung ano pa ang dapat at nararapat para sa masigit pang kaunlaran ng ating nalawigan ng Marinduque. Mula po sa inyong bukal tres mangkukang, binabati ko po kayong lahat. Congratulations. Thank you. Maraming salamat. Kagalang-galang mangkukang. Mula po sa ating nga po sir, may asa to recognize the lady from Buak, the Honorable Bernadine Opitz Mercado. The Honorable uh, Gentle Lady from Buak, Honorable Mercado, is recognized. Thank you, Honorable Vice Governor and Floor Leader, Bukal Jojo Leba. Isang mapagpalang umaga po sa ating lahat. Muli po, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Uh, ito pa lang po ang ating umpisa at simula ng ating magandang samahan. Inaasahan po namin dito sa Sangguni ang Panlalawigan na hindi lang po kayo nagpa-accredit, kundi kayo po ay nandito dahil tanggap nyo po ang hamon ko. Ano ang pangangailangan po na ating pahamalaan? Hindi lang po kayo nandyan para isang organisasyon, pero kayo po ay nandyan para tulungan po kami. Tulad po ng mga binabanggit kanina, meron mga feeding program at mas kailangan-kailangan po kayo kung may mga sakuna po. Ano sana po tayo po yung magtulungan dahil ang ating pamalam po ay kulang sa pangangailangan pag meron po tayo mga sakuna tulad ng bagyo, ay kayo po ay ma mas kailangan-kailangan talaga namin doon. Nakalimutan ko pong sabihin ang inyong lingkod po, ang Vice Chairperson po ni Bukal Mercy sa committee na ito. Kaya kung ano man po yung inyong mga pangangailangan at hinaing ay kami po ay magtutulong-tulong upang matugunan po ang inyong mga
mga pangangailangan. At sana nga ni po ay mabilis na maaprubahan ng inyong pondo dahil sa aking pagsasaliksik po. Napakarami pong organisasyon dito sa ating lalawigan pero A18 la ang po ang nag-apakredit. Ang tanong nila, bakit kami gapakredit? Wala naman kami parang napapala sa ating pamalaan. Kung kaya ito po ang isang pangangailangan nila, mabigyan ng kahit kaunting pondo para naman po merong pagkukunan po ang ating mga civic society organizations. Muli po, congratulations at magandang araw po sa inyong lahat. Thank you. Maraming salamat, kagalang-galang Office Mercado. May asa to recognize the gentleman from Santa Cruz, the Honorable Mel Cabal in Cabo. Honorable N. Cabo from Santa Cruz is recognized uh, for his greetings. Uh, I am surprised that I'm supposed uh, magsasalita po pala kayo. Uh, uh, anyway, uh, sa lahat po ng uh, na-credit, sa, pam sa pamumuno po ng napakagaling at napakaseksing bukal nursery, ha, no? binabati po ko, ko po kayo ng uh, congratulations po sa inyong lahat. Tulad po na sinabi ng mga kasama ko, kayo po ay parte na ng, pag, uh, ng ating probinsya upang matulungan ang ating mga kababayan sa kanilang kabuhayan. Huwag po kayong mag-alala. Sabi po ng mga kasama ko, andito po ang provincial government para po kayo ay mabigyan ng assistance. Muli po, ako po ay nagpapasalamat sa inyo at bumabati sa inyo ng isang magandang umaga. Congratulations po at mabuhay po kayo. Thank you very much, Honorable N. Cabo. Meron pa po pang gustong magbigay uh, ng kanilang mensahe. Ang kagalang-galang Ismael Lim from Santa Cruz is recognized. Madam uh, uh, Presiding Officer, uh, Majority Floor, my colleagues, good morning. Sa ating pong mga panauhin uh, at uh, mga sa ating pong mga yang, uh, recipients ng, uh, ng, ng uh, itong uh, sa ating cooperatives, yang uh, ako po ay uh, bumabati sa inyo at uh, yang uh, nagpupugay at uh, inaasahan po natin ang, uh, ang uh, malapit na pagtutulungan ng, uh, ng mga cooperatives at ng pamahala ang uh, lalawigan at uh, sapagkat uh, amin, uh, aminado po tayo uh, amin ang uh, ating uh, pamahalaan hindi po lahat ay kaya ng ating pamahalaan meron pong uh, kisig at lakas ang uh, pamahalaan at meron din naman po ang uh, pribadong sektor kaya po ta, yung, pong, uh, yung weakness ng, uh, ng uh, gobyerno ay uh, doon naman po papasok yung uh, lakas ng, uh, strength ng uh, private sector ano po? kaya po ta, umaasa po tayo sa mas mayabong na na at na napagsasamahan na ito at na magbubunga ng uh, pag-ulad para sa ating uh, mga mahal na mga kababayan marindukin niyo maraming salamat po sa inyo Madam Presiding Officer Maraming salamat kagalang-galang Lim Madam Presiding Officer may this representation be recognized for some The message. floor leader is recognized Honorable Leva Maraming salamat po, uh, Madam Presiding Officer, at sa atin pong mga accredited civil society organization. Unang-una po ay ang aming pasasalamat mula sa pamalaang panlalawigan ng Marinduque sapagkat uh, tinugon ninyo ang panawagan ng pamalaang panlalawigan. Ilan ang tumugon, pero ilan din lamang ang pinagpala. Labing walo lamang ang nakapasa sa pagsusuri ng kanilang mga kaukulang dokumento. At siguro ay panahon na para ipamat mata natin sa kanila kung ano ang kahalagahan kung bakit may civil society organization sa isang pamahalaang panlalawigan tulad ng Marinduque. Sapagkat ito'y party ng good governance. Isa sa tatlong key player ng good governance ay ang civil society organization kasama ang pamahalaan at ang business sector. Kaya napakahalaga ng inyong gampanin. Kaya sinasabi sa batas, Republic Act 7160 na dapat one port of the Development Council must come from the civil society organization sapagkat kayo ang nakatubog 
sa mga mamamayan natin. Alam ninyo ang pulso ng, inyong, ng ating mga mamamayan sa mga organisasyong inyong kinabibilangan. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po sa inyo mula po sa kaibuturan ng aming puso dito sa pamalaang panlalawigan ng Marinduque. Maraming salamat, uh, kagalang-galang Leva. Meron pa po bang nais magparating ng kanilang mensahe? Kung wala na po, sa bahagi naman po ng uh, inyong uh, presiding officer, nais ko rin pong magpasalamat sa lahat ng mga katuwang, sa ating mga katuwang mula sa NGOs, mula sa civil society organizations. Doon pa lang po sa inyong pag-apply uh, uh, for accreditation or re-accreditation ay biyaya na po sa lalawigan ng Marinduque sa amin sapagkat sa totoo lang po, kailangan namin ang mga katuwang na kagaya ninyo. I always say in many fora, na when we talk of true development, no, no particular sector has the monopoly to do it. Alo, not even the government. Hindi po namin kakayanin, kaming mga nasa gobyerno lamang, na isulong ang maayos na pamamahala at ang uh, development na gusto natin para sa ating lalawigan nang walang active participation ang private sector na inyo pong nire-representa din dito. Kaya maraming maraming salamat po sa inyong uh, interes na maging katuwang natin sa pagsusulong din ng participatory government, govern, governance sa ating lalawigan. Tapos na po ang panahon na kapag sinabing NGO, ang impresyon ng marami ay kalaban ng gobyerno. Gone were those days na pag sinabing NGO ay mga leftist. Uh, ngayon, ang tingin ng lahat kahit na po nang umiiral na bata sa ating bansa, ang NGO, ang mga people's organizations, mga cooperatives, at ang mga iba pang miyembro ng civil society ay katuwang sa paglilingkod at katuwang sa... Uh, sa pag-unlad. So gusto ko rin lang ho, minention ni Bokal uh, Cavalias kanina, ang isang organisasyon na malapit sa, kan sa kanyang puso ay uh, ayaan nyo rin lang ho na i-mention ko ang dalawang ring organisasyon na malapit din ho sa aking puso. Ang isa sa pinakamatandang NGO sa buong Asia, ang PRRM at ang Marinduque Council for Environmental Concerns na isa naman sa pinakamatandang NGO at pinakamalawak na NGO for the environment dito sa ating lalawigan. At sa lahat ng mga uh, civil society organizations na atin hong na-accredit, maraming salamat po sa inyo. Yung binabanggit ni Bukal Mercy Rehano na possible financial subsidy uh, na ibibigay sa lahat ng accredited organizations in advance ay alam naman natin na pagtutulong-tulungan ho ng mga bukal yan at sisiguraduhin ng mga bukal na maaaprubahan po yun. Hindi po yun kalakihan pero alam natin na makakatulong tulong pa rin. At saka, pagpapakita rin lang ho, ng provincial government na kayo po ay mahalaga at ang inyo pong ginagawa ay mahalaga sa amin. So, yun lamang po, uh, iparating po ninyo sa mga miyembro ng inyo pong mga organisasyon, ang tauspusong pasasalamat ng provincial government kasama na po ang sangguniang panlalawigan at uh, nawa po ay isang maging makabuluhan ang pagtutulungan po ng lalawigan at ng inyo pong mga organisasyon. At uh, bilang po panghuli, sa ngala naman po ng mga civil society organizations na na uh, atin ho, na inaccredit ngayon, ay bigyan po natin ng ilang minuto ang isa sa mga representative, private sector representative. May dalawang private sector representative sa regional development councils. At sa ilan ho, sa limang lalawigan ho, yun hong dalawang representative ay nanggaling sa lalawigan ng Marinduque, ang MASEC at ang PRRM. Palakpakan po natin. So, sa ngalan po ng mga NGOs uh, at civil society organizations na inaccredit natin, may we request Ma'am Beth Mangol of MASEC to give a short response on behalf of the civil society organizations. Actually, dala. I, I uh, motto proprio suspend the rules to give way to our visitor. Magandang umaga po sa amin pong mga inamahal na mga bukal ng ating sanggol ng panlalawigan at sa mga kasamahan po namin sa civil society organization. So in behalf po ng mga civil society organization sa ating pong lalawigan, kami po ay buong pusong nagpapasalamat sa uh, pag-accredit po ninyo ng mabilis sa amin pong uh, mga accreditation.
asahan po ninyo na kami po ay magiging katuwang ninyo at magiging uh, co-implementor, mag magko-complement sa mga projects and programs and activities po ng atin pong provincial government. Ang masik po ngayon ay uh, as private sector representative ay isa po sa co-nominee po na bilang co-chair ng Regional Development Council. So medyo malayo na po ang ang nadating ng MASEC uh, represented by Reverend Father Arvin Madla uh, bilang uh, private sector representative at uh, sana po ay siya yung ma-appoint ang mag appoint po ata nun ay ang at no less than the President of the Republic of the Philippines at uh, inuulit ko po kami po sa MASEC ay katuwang matagal ang katuwang since 1996 po uh, sa pag-create po ng MASEC uh, on environment, disaster, good governance, and people's empowerment po ng atin pong mga komunidad. So, uli po, maraming salamat po sa inyong lahat. Maraming salamat at siguro po ilang minuto lang, hindi dahil sa sila malapit sa akin kaya sila ang nagsalita kasi sila po ang private sector representative sa region. So uh, representative from PRRM, Sir Delphi Natal. Magandang umaga po sa inyong lahat, lalo lalo na sa ating uh, Vice uh, Governor. Um, isang malaking karangalan na uh, makapagsalita sa, sa buluwagang ito. Hindi ka makalain ako ay uh, iimbitahin. Um, mukhang parang wala akong masabi. <laughs> uh, isang karangalan po na uh, mapakalooban ng accreditation ang aming uh, samahan sa galing sa provincial uh, sanggunayang panlalawigan. At ganoon din po sa uh, Regional Development Council ng uh, RDC, uh, ng uh, NEDA Mimaropa. Uh, kami po sa aming uh, organisasyon ay uh, patuloy na makikibahagi at makikiisa sa lahat ng uh, uh, mga programa ng uh, pamalaan upang uh, ang advokasya namin para sa social development, actually rural development, ay uh, may pagpatuloy po namin. Ano? malaking uh, isang malaking karangalan na tuloy-tuloy uh, na kami uh, nakipag-ugnayan sa, 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 sa pamahalaan. At um, sa kasalukuyan po ay uh, kami ay uh, merong uh, uh, project implementation sa solid waste uh, management Uh, funded by uh, Coca-Cola Foundation. At um, actually po, ito ay mag, uh, magtatapos na by uh, the end of uh, November. Ang unit, um, kami ay nanawagan sa, sa pamahalaan, uh, sa mga local government units na tutukan po natin itong issue ng uh, uh, lumalaking uh, volume ng uh, solid waste sa ating kapaligiran na nakaka na nakaka epekto uh, hindi lang sa sa uh, hindi lang sa kalupaan kundi sa ating uh, mga uh, sa ating uh, pangisdaan na po at um, sana po um, lalong lalo na sa ating mga kabaranggayan na sila ay nakatutok doon yung 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 uh, sa pangalaga ng ating kapaligiran ay lalong-lalo na yung sa, sa ating kabaranggayan doon talaga sila nakatutok so uh, inaasahan din po namin sa susunod na mga uh, taon na patuloy na magbibigay sa amin ng pondo ang aming funding agency ang uh, Coca-Cola Foundation upang tuloy-tuloy namin itong maipa-implement uh, ano po kasi hindi po naman uh, na natatapos ang isyu natin sa basura, kundi talagang tuloy-tuloy siya. So, kailangan tuloy-tuloy din yung ating aksyon para doon sa 
uh, sa pangalaga ng ating uh, paligiran. So marami pa pong mga issue sana, no? Anyway, um, um, siguro sa mga masunod po na mga panahon ay uh, didiscuss po natin siya, no? Uh, once again po, uh, maraming salamat po sa oras. Marami pong salamat at muli po sa lahat ng mga katuwang namin na mga organisasyon. Marami pong salamat sa inyong patuloy na commitment na maging katuwang namin sa paglilingkod. Mabuhay po ang civil society organization sa lalawigan ng Malinduto. The internal rules of the Sangguniang Panlalawigan is... Okay. Uh, what is the pleasure of uh, the Honorable Gentleman, Honorable Leva? The presiding officer, also last session, we have adopted resolution number 112, series of 22, 2022, entitled Resolution Congratulating the Bureau of Fire Protection, Marinduque, for being hailed as the best provincial office in the Mimaropa region for three consecutive years. And may I ask the Honorable Author, Honorable uh, Bernadine Office Mercado to read the content of the said resolution for awarding to the Bureau of Fire Protection headed by Acting Provincial Fire Director, Chief Inspector Herald R. Castillo. Honorable uh, Mercado is recognized. Thank you. Resolution number 112 series of 2020-22 Congratulating the Bureau of Fire Protection BFP Marinduque for being hailed as the best provincial office in the Mimaropa region for three consecutive years 2019 to 2021 authored by yours truly whereas the BF in Mimaropa held its 31st anniversary celebration last August 19, 2022 and among the highlights of the said celebration of the BFB regional headquarters in Pinamalaya, Pinamalayan Oriental Mindoro was the conferment of awards to the best performing units and offices whereas for three consecutive years 2019 2021, the BFP Marinduque Office got the Best Provincial Office Awards which manifests the said office exemplary performance of their mandated duties and functions which certainly contributed to the promotion of the welfare of the people of Marinduque and the overall peace and order situation in the province. Whereas in the said award, the BFP Mimaropa cited the BFP Marinduque Provincial Office commitment, the dedication and dependability in their assigned duties and responsibilities indicating an ideal public servant worthy of distinction and emulation. Whereas such outstanding accomplishments of the BFP Marinduque were made possible through the concerted effort of all its officer and personnel from the highest level down to the lower unit through the able leadership of the acting provincial fire director Senior Inspector Harold R. Castillo had also brought a sense of pride and honor not only to the organization but to the entire province of Marinduque, a thing that must be given due recognition and appreciation. Wherefore, in consideration of the foregoing premises and on motion of Honorable Bernardini Office Mercado, duly seconded, it was resolved, it is hereby resolved to congratulate the Bureau of Fire Protection Marinduque for being here as the best provincial office in the Mimaropa region for three consecutive years 2019-2020-2021. Resolve finally that copy of this resolution be furnished to the BFP Marinduque Provincial Office through the Acting Provincial Fire Director Senior Inspector Herald R. Castillo for their information copy furnished to the Honorable Governor Pesbitero J. Velasco Jr. and the BFP Maropa Regional Office. Adopted this 31st day of August 2022 at Buwak, Marinduque. Certified to be duly adopted, Secretary James L. Solas, attested by Vice Governor and Presiding Officer Governor Adeline Emangeles. 
Okay, thank you at this chang juncture. Uh, San ba sa natin ni Abad sa baba na lang? Sa baba. Saan? Or sa taas. May we invite Sir... Uh, uh, Okay, uh, Senior Inspector Pe Penula on, on behalf of the Bureau of Fire in Marinduque to receive ito pong uh, simpleng uh, pasasalamat at pagkilala po namin sa inyong ginagawa. Sama na kayo doon, sama na. Sama na kayo. May we just invite the um, the team leader present from the Bureau of Fire to give some response uh, on behalf of the Bureau of Fire. Kunin ko na po yung pagkakataon na ito para po magpasalamat po sa inyong lahat sa bumubo po ng sangguniang panlalawigan. Siyempre po sa ating presiding officer, sa ating pong mahal na vice governor, ma maraming salamat po. At sa inyo pong lahat, sa ngalan po ng aming provincial fire director, newly promoted superintendent Herald R. Castillo, ako po si senior inspector Brian G. Asidre Pilula, ang chief operations po ng BFP Marinduque. Pinapaabot niya po ang kanyang pagpapaumanhin sapagkat siya po ay hindi makadalo sa importanteng araw na ito. Dahil siya po ay kasalukuyang nagtuturo po sa ating mga bagong bumbero, yung mga ating pong bagong recruit ma'am and sir. Dahil bukod po sa siya po ay provincial director po dito po sa buong Marinduque ng Bureau of Fire Protection, siya rin po ay chief Fire Safety Enforcement Division sa buong Mimaropa. So, medyo nagmumultitasking po si Sir at kasalukuyan pong nasa Mindoro. Kaya humihingi po siya ng paumanin at iba na taos pusong pasasalamat po sa parangal na ito. Ang ganitong, ganito pong mga parangal ang patuloy na nagbibigay po sa amin ng gasolina para patuloy pong Ipagpa para patuloy na iabot o magsilbi sa mamamayan lalong lalo na po sa lahat ng residente ng probinsya ng Marinduque uh, masahan po ninyo sir and ma'am na sa mga susunod pa pong panahon ay lalo pa pong pagbubutihin ng mga bumberong muryo ng kanilang pagsisilbi sa buong probinsya ng Marinduque. Hindi lang po ito pangatlong taon meron pa pong pangapat na taon, panglimang taon na tayo po ay magiging best provincial fire office. Maraming maraming salamat po sa lahat sir and ma'am Maraming salamat Sir Brian at pakiparating po kay uh, kay Sir Herald ang ang pagbati po at pasasalamat ng buong sangguniang panlalawigan ng ng provincial government sa pangunan ng ating governor sa inyo pong sakripisyo. At uh, nariyan po ang chairman ng committee ng Peace and Order. Uh, na, na chairman din po ng committee ng appropriation, hindi po niya kayo pababayaan sa Peace and Order Fund dahil nire-recognize sa uh, natin ang uh, mahalagang contribution ninyo uh, marami pong salamat na muli biglang napangiti si Bokal Cabalies <laughs> Kagalang-galang Leva? Yes, ma'am. Madam Presiding Officer, it's TikTok time now. <laughs> Let's TikTok together. Uh, last session, we also adopted resolution number 111, series of 2022, a resolution entitled, Resolution Congratulating Mr. Archie Larga of Wak Marinduque for being awarded as the popular creator of the year 
in the recently held 2022 TikTok Awards Philippines and expressing the gratitude of the provincial government of Marinduque for being its partner in providing educational information to the people of Marinduque and I would like to ask that to recognize the Honorable Bernadine O. E. Office Mercado to read the citation of resolution number 111 series of 2022. Honorable Office is again recognized. Thank you, Honorable Levin, Honorable Vice Governor Lynn Angeles. Resolution number 111 series of 2022. Resolution congratulating Mr. Archie Largo of Buwak Marinduque for being awarded as the popular creator of the year in the recently held 2022 TikTok Awards Philippines and expressing the gratitude of the provincial government for being its partner in providing educational information to the people of Marinduque. Authored by Vice Governor Adeline M. Angeles and yours truly. Whereas TikTok is a short form of video hosting service owned by a Chinese company that hosts a variety of short form user videos from genres like pranks, stunts, tricks, drones, dance, entertainment, and educational with a duration of 15 seconds to 10 minutes. Whereas two years ago, TikTok Philippines started the TikTok Awards, which honors Filipino TikTok. TikTok who have continuously shared their talents, knowledge, and even new more entertaining millions of local users on the platform. Whereas, this year, 2022, one of the two most significant awards conferred by TikTok Philippines was the Popular Creator of the Year Award, which was bagged by a pharmacist turned TikToker Archie Larga, who hailed from Barangay San Tulbuac, this province. Whereas, Mr. Archie Larga was a BS Pharmacy graduate from the Central Scholastica from the Central Escular University and is helping their family manage their pharmacy located in front of the Marinduque Provincial Hospital. Whereas with more than 3 million followers, Mr. Larga became popular for sharing his knowledge and information as a pharmacist by answering questions about medicines from his followers and in helping some of their indigent clients by providing free medicines called from his TikTok earnings and donations from his followers. Whereas Mr. Ashi Larga was indeed an epitome of em empathy, kindness, and generosity which makes him worthy of such an award and likewise the recognition and appreciation from his fellow Marindukenos who are also proud of his achievements. Wherefore, in consideration of the foregoing premises and in motion of the SK Provincial President Honorable Lauren R. Rosales, duly seconded by Honorable Aurelio J. Leba III, it was resolved at ETC by resolved to congratulate Mr. Archie Larga of Uwak Marinduque for being awarded as the popular creator of the year in the recently held 2022 TikTok Award Philippines and expressing the gratitude of the provincial government for being its partner in providing educational information to the people of Marinduque. Resolved finally that copy of this resolution be furnished to Mr. Archie Larga for his information. Adopted this 31st day of August 2022 at Buwak, Marinduque. Certified to be duly adopted uh, Mr. James Sola, Secretary of SP and attested Vice, Vice Governor and Presiding Officer uh, Ms. Adeline M. Angeles. Para po sa inyong kaalaman po ay siya po ay anak ng aking kaklase, si Will Malarga, ano, from ICC po siya. So, pride siya ng ano, ICC rin. At alam ko marami mga taga-ICC dito sa loob ng sangguni ang panalawigan. Congrats again. Bago po natin uh, ibigay yung, yung resolution, meron po ba tan tayong mga kasama na nais uh, magbigay ng personal greeting sa kanya? Okay, kung kung wala po ay uh, atin pong iniimbita uh, but before that uh, kay, uh, kay Sir Archie Arch, Archie uh, hindi pala Archie, Archie uh, una ang resolusyon ng pagkilala sa iyo na ibinibigay ng Sangguniang Panlalawigan ay hindi lamang para dun sa iyong TikTok award pero napanood namin ang mga video 
uh, na pinapalabas mo sa TikTok at ang mas nakita at naramdaman namin doon ay yung iyong malasakit sa ating mga kababayan. Yun ay walang katapat na pagkilala dahil nakita namin ang iyong sinseridad sa iyong inagawa. Kaya maraming salamat sa pagiging katuwang ng pamahalaang panlalawigan sa pagsiservisyo sa ating mga kababayan. Can we request uh, Sir Archie to join us? Ah, si Bokal Jojo Leva ay may dadagdag. Uh, isang karagdaga din po sa uh, magandang ginagawa ng ating kasamang uh, kababayang si Archie Larga. Ayong nagbibigay po siya ng impormasyon sa mga gamit at halaga at anong uri ng medisina na meron ta tayo. Kaya napaka uh, makabuluhan po ng kanyang ginagawang TikTok. Tayo ay uh, hindi lang uh, napapaligaya, tayo ay nabibigyan ng sapat na impormasyon sa mga na mas mahalaga sa ating kalusugan. Kaya marami salamat po, Sir Archie. Okay, and, and thank you Archie also. Nakita rin namin na sa iyong pagtulong, you protect the, the dignity of, of the people na tinutulungan uh -huh. mo. Uh -huh. uh, something that we appreciate so uh -huh. much is, yun nga, kapag tumulong ka hindi kailangan na Nakikita. na di ba kaya maraming maraming salamat sa iyong uh, inagawa so can we request uh, sir Archie to join us dumami ang photograph Sa baba naman, sa baba. Para makita yung kag kagapuhan mo. Nagandahan sa nasa. Okay, uh, can we request uh, Sir Archie Larga uh, to give a uh, simple response? Uh, before the August body. Hello po. Good morning po. Um, sa mga bumubuo po ng Sangguniang Panlalawigan ng Marinduque and sa nag-sponsor po ng resolution nito kay Honorable Vice Governor Lynn Angeles and kay Honorable uh, Bukal at uh, Dindin Office. Maraming salamat po sa recognition na to. Um, bilang isang content creator po, hindi ko naman inaasahan na isang Marindukenyo, di ba yung probinsya natin, hindi naman talaga sobrang well-known pagdating sa pag may nagko-comment, taga Mindoro ka ba? Kasi yung punto mo parang taga Mindoro o kaya taga Quezon. Never nilang na-mention na taga Marinduque ka ba? So nakakatuwa lang po na bilang isang Marindukenyo, yung recognition na ito ay hindi lamang pagkilala sa akin bilang isang pharmacist at isang content creator, kundi recognition din sa talento ng mga Marindukenyo. Kung baga, kaya din natin makipagtapatan doon sa mga sikat na tao na from Metro Manila, from Cebu, di ba? Yung talento ng isang Marindukenyo ay pang, hindi lang pang ano, pang local. Kung baga, pwede din tayo pang national or in the future baka pwede din tayo pang international. So, maraming salamat po talaga dito. Hindi ko po inaasahan na magkakaroon po ng ganitong resolution. Ako naman po yung simpleng tao lamang na nasa butika. Pero maraming salamat po talaga. Uh, kung may share ko lang po sa inyo, nakakatuwa lang po talaga na kahit pa paano, it's mayroon akong paraan para makatulong sa mga kababayan natin. Kasi bilang isang pharmacist po, nakikita ko talaga first hand yung mga struggles po ng mga kapwa natin marindukin nyo. Lalo na yung, alam mo yung mga tipo ng taga ilaya pa na pumunta sa ospital para magpakonsulta pero meron nga silang reseta nakakuha sila ng living consultation pero wala silang pambili ng gamot o kung meron man baka isang piraso dalawang piraso e eh, paano kung antibiotic yung binibili nila so sa pamamagitan po ng mga naipon ko donations from my followers nakakatulong po ako sa mga tao lalo sa mga kapwa natin marindo kayo upang mabigyan sila ng libreng gamot although ay nako yung taga Mark Julius talaga nagigit charot lang hindi eh, ba charot lang Choke lang, ano naman. Friends-friends naman kami doon. Hindi po, pero yun lang. Pag ano po, hindi <laughs> po, ano naman po. Friends-friends naman kami doon mga ano. So, yun lang po. I-share ko lang po sa inyo na, yun nga, bilang isang marindo kayo, nakakatawa po na may paraan para makatulong sa ating mga kababayan na nangangailangan ng gamot. So, sana po ay, uh, pinapakuko ko po sa inyo na patuloy ko pong ipapagmalaki ang ating probinsya at i-re-represent ang ating probinsya in the most uh, professional way as possible. And yun po, Maraming salamat po ulit. Thank you very much po sa inyong lahat. Maraming maraming salamat, Sir Archie. Baka mamaya si Bukal Maki ay katiktok mo na. Mag-ingat ka. Kagalang-galang kabali yan, si Sir Recognize. Sir Archie. 
So, kailangan po sabihin na napakaganda po ng programa nyo. Kahit yung namamigay po kayo ng uh, libreng gamot na nakalugi po ng ibang katabi nyo mga <laughs> patiga. <laughs> Pero gusto ko lang po sabihin na dahil po sa inyong programa, meron na rin po ang free legal consultation sa Mark Julius Pharmacy para po makasabay tayo sa... <laughs> Medyo ako lang po yun. Congrats po, congrats po. Thank you. Okay po. Maraming salamat, Ar Sir Archie. Okay po, uh, may mga panauhin pa po ba tayo? Kung wala po, uh, the chair uh, resumes the, the internal rules of the Sanggunian. For the, for the approval of the an amendment of the agenda, Madam Presiding Officer, uh, The Honorable uh, Baldomero El Limpiada is requesting for the deferment of his privileged speech. We now go to the calendar of business. For the unfinished business, we don't have any. For the business for the day, the first item in the business for the day is the letter from the Governor Presbytero J. Velasco Jr. requesting for authority for the Balugo Economic Zone and Hospital Privatization. May I ask that we recognize the gentleman from uh, Santa Cruz, the chairperson of the Committee on Local Economic Enterprise. The Honorable uh, gentle, uh, Gentleman from Santa Cruz, Honorable Lim, is recognized. Madam Chair, uh, this is uh, the result of uh, our uh, our uh, partnership with the uh, with the PPP uh, with our uh, MOA with the PPP Center, and uh, and uh, the uh, the uh, uh, one of the uh, flagship uh, uh, endeavors of our Governor is. Uh, the uh, economic zone in Balogo and uh, of course uh, another uh, idea is uh, the uh, privatization of uh, the hospital uh, to limit our expenditures so uh, madam chair uh, as a result of that uh, we are now seeking the uh, help of the uh, PPP center 
for a master plan and feasibility studies on uh, the uh, said uh, uh, proposals. So with that, Madam Chair, um, I move that uh, we pass a resolution seeking the assistance of a public-private partnership center under the, their project development and monitoring fund to engage the uh, consultants and to create a master plan. Uh, wait, uh, instead of that, Madam Chair, I would rather... Honorable Lim, uh, I, uh, Madam Chair. I, that's item number five. Yes, the, uh, yeah. item number five, Madam Chair. I, uh, I, I move, Madam Chair, that we pass a resolution uh, granting authority to the uh, to uh, the uh, uh, local chief executive to apply for a project development and monitoring fund assistance for Balogo Economic Zone and hospital privatization. Madam Chair, I so move. Is there any second to the motion? Duly seconded by Honorable Red, Honorable Mangol, Honorable Leva uh, for the adoption of a resolution that will grant authority to Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. on behalf of the province of Marinduque to request uh, to apply for a project development monitoring fund assistance uh, with the PPP Center for the Balogo Economic Zone and Hospital Privatization. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The motion is approved. Madam Chair, uh, may uh, this representation be recognized for the pro uh, sponsoring of a resolution with regards to the implement implementation management agreement of Kaganao Banogbog Farm to Market Road. Who will be the sponsoring? The, the Honorable Leva is recognized. Madam Chair, may I move, formally move for the adoption of a resolution granting authority to Governor Presbyterio J. Velasco Jr. to execute and sign an implementation management agreement and other related documents on behalf of the provincial government of Marinduque with the Department of Agriculture, Philippine Rural Development Program and Construction Philippine Development Program. I so move, Madam Chair. There is a motion by Honorable Leva. Is there any seconded by uh, Honorable uh, Rihano, Honorable Red, and Honorable Lim? Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The, the resolution granting authority to Governor Presbyterio J. Velasco Jr to execute and sign an implementation management agreement for and in behalf of the province with the for the with the department of agriculture for the DAPRDP project in the province is hereby approved again mr madam presiding officer for the second request we ask for uh, the department. Just please note that this IMA is for the rehabilitation improvement of Kaganhao Banubog FMR in the municipality of Santa Cruz. Yes, Madam Chair. However, for the second request to approve a uh, construction agreement with the winning private contractor bidding again, I move that we defer consideration of the same pending the availability of the construction agreement as well as the identity of the winning private contractor. I so move. There is a motion, but it is already included in the approved committee report. This is uh, apart from the committee report. The other, uh, the committee report. So you is want to sponsor? To, okay. Uh, there is uh, uh, another motion for the adoption of a for the deferment of the uh, consideration of the construction agreement with the winning private contractor for the implementation of the said DAPRDP sub-project for the rehabilitation improvement of Kuganhao, Manupok, FMR, in the municipality of Santa Cruz. Is there any second to the motion? Duly seconded. Any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the authority, the granting of authority to the governor for the construction agreement in relation to the DAPRDP project for the Urban Howell of Bog FMR in the municipality of Santa Cruz is here by the Grant the request of the Governor of Presbyterio, Jerry Lasco, Jr., 
to the 13 the members of the Human Resource Merit Promotion Selection and Placement Board as mandated in 27 Omnibus Rules, 2017 Omnibus Rules on Appointment and Other Human Resource Act, revised July 2018 as hereby uh, uh, mentioned in the letter of the Governor. I so move. There is a motion uh, for the uh, granting of uh, the request of the Governor for the adoption of a resolution determining membership of the Human Resource Merit Promotion Selection Placement Board. Is there any second to the motion? Will be seconded by Honorable Merci Rehano. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, the resolution granting the request of Honorable Presbyterian Velasco Jr. To determine new membership of the Human Resource Merit Promotion Selection and Placement Board as mandated in the 2017 Omnibus Rules on Appointment and other Human Resources as revised on July 2018 with the composition provided in, in, um, in our document is hereby approved. Thank you very much, Madam Chair. Another item is the letter from Dr. Jerry Caballos may the uh, chairperson of the Committee on Health and Nutrition be recognized for the sponsorship of the said measure. Honorable Mercado, as chair of the Committee on Health, is recognized. Uh, I move for the approval of a resolution authorizing to purchase one unit ambulance vehicle for health emergency response in the provincial health office. I so move, Mr. Presiding Officer. There is a motion. Is there any second to that motion? Duly seconded by Honorable Mangol, Honorable Rehano, Honorable Lim. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, the resolution authorizing the purchase of one unit ambulance vehicle for health emergency response in the provincial health office is hereby approved. Madam Chair, again, may I ask that we recognize the Chairperson of the Committee on Health and Nutrition for another uh, resolution on the letter of Dr. Jerry Caballes. Proceed, Honorable Mercado. I move for the approval uh, for a resolution authorizing to purchase a service monitoring vehicle to be charged to general fund continuing appropriation. I so move, Mr. Presiding Officer. Is there any second to the motion? Duly seconded by Honorable Rehano. Is there any, any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, the resolution authorizing the purchase of one service monitoring vehicle for the Provincial Health Office charged to the General Fund Continuing Appropriation is hereby approved. Madam Chair, may I again ask that we recognize the Chairperson of the Committee on Health and Region for the approval of the resolution based on the letter from Dr. Sixto Raymond J. Sulit. Proceed, Honorable Mercado. I move for the approval for an authority to enter into a tripartite memorandum of agreement by and between the PGM DOA Center for Health Development in Europa and the National Children's Hospital for the renewal of telemedicine project for subspecialty services, namely neurodevelopmental pediatrics and dermatology. I so move, Mr. Presiding Officer. Thank you, Honorable uh, Mercado. Is there any second to that motion? Julie uh, seconded uh, by Honorable Mangol, Honorable Lim, Honorable Rehano. Is there any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, a resolution granting authority to the Honorable Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. To, to enter into tripartite memorandum agreement by and between the Provincial Government of Marinduque, DOH Center for Health Development, Mimaropa, and the National Children's Hospital for the renewal of telemedicine project for subspecialty services, namely neurodevelopmental pediatrics and dermatology, is hereby approved. Madam Chair, uh, for the proposed resolution, may I ask that to recognize the Honorable Mercedes Rihano for the formal adoption of a resolution number 2022 does for to us propose. Honorable Rihano is recognized. Uh, good afternoon to everybody. 
a motion but but uh, before that uh, let it just be clarified that uh, as as a co-author of that uh, uh, resolution it was agreed that in the provisions para clarified lang po uh, there will be a revision di po ba that uh, 30,000 will be uh, for for organizations operating for at least three years and uh, the 50,000 is uh, no, no, at least three years for, for one year to three years and the 50,000 is for uh, three years and and above at the same time the appropriation uh, hindi po natin mailagay kung magkano ito but palagay, kagaya po ng napag-usapan natin ni Bokal uh, Mercy is it will be requested to be included in the next supplemental budget yung ngayon po without prejudice to the sponsorship by Bokal uh, Mercy Rehano uh, for the institutionalization. Oh, po. And uh, for uh, yung pong institutionalization ay for uh, approve natin sa first reading natin. So, <laughs> <laughs> that is a different, submit nyo na lang po yung panibago. Ah, so, there is a motion by Honorable uh, <laughs> De, para mailagay na. There is a motion by Honorable Rihano, duly seconded by Honorable Mangkukang for the adoption of a resolution granting 30 to 50,000 pesos financial assistance to all accredited civil society organizations in the province of Marinduque and providing necessary funds for that purpose with provision in the in one one resolving clause that it be prioritized in the next supplemental budget okay thank you is there any objection the chair hears none the resolution as correct as as amended is hereby approved May, yes, Honorable Leva. May I ask that we recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Tourism uh, for the sponsorship of the uh, uh, proposal number 22-43 with a reminder that the Miss Princess Lay Hart Giloto is just at 10 years old. <laughs> <laughs> Honorable uh, and Cabo Chair of the Committee on Tourism is recognized. Thank you. Te, uh, maraming maraming salamat po sa iyong napakahalagang paalala. Salamat po. Uh, eh, Madam Chair, uh, before uh, we uh, approve uh, this uh, resolution, may I ask the good gentleman from Guac us to determine the amount uh, we're going Yes, yes Mr. Uh, a good, ge good gentleman from the work. Uh, may I ask uh, how much are we going to, to grant uh, to give uh, no, the, your Miss Lay our uh, uh, in my, the original proposal, uh, Madam Chair, it's 50,000 because this is an international event and it will not only uh, she will not only represent Marinduque, but she will represent the entire Republic of the Philippines. It is an honor for this uh, lady to be part of this uh, prestigious event, which will be uh, participated in by some 80 uh, individuals coming from uh, countries all over the world. Kaya, I was asking for a 50,000 uh, assistance. I, I would just also would like to be clarified if my original resolution is right to 
grant or to request to the governor for the granting of uh, so that it will be included in the donation uh, fund of the governor so if, if the good uh, chairperson of the committee on uh, tourism would agree that instead of granting requesting the governor to grant under the donations account of uh, uh, under the donations office. account okay y yes uh, uh, okay. Mr. Uh, Ma Mr. Majority Pro Leader thank you very much okay. uh, Mr. 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 50 plus the grant uh, given by the <laughs> sponsor 100 uh, as well as the chairperson of the Twitter uh, tourism <laughs> So again, may we hear the formal motion from the sponsoring chair? Thank you, uh, Madam Chair. I move for the adoption and the approval of a resolution requesting the governor, the governor a financial assistance amounting to 50,000 pesos to Princess Lei Hart G. Noto of Barangay Main, Buak Marinduque, who will be representing the Philippines in the Tourism Ambassador Universe International 2020, which will be held on October 12 to 17, 2022, at Kota Kinabalu, Sabah, Malaysia. So I move, Mr. Chair, uh, Madam Chair. Second. Uh, there is a motion Julie, by Honorable and Cowboy, Julie seconded for the uh, by Bukal Mercy Rehano, Honorable uh, um, Leva for the adoption of a resolution requesting the Governor, Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. for the grant of financial assistance to bring in the amount, in the amount of 50,000 pesos to fin Princess Lei Hart G. Lotto of Barangay Mainit, Buak Marinduque, who will be representing the Philippines in the Tourism Ambassador Universe International 2022 to be held at Kota Kinabalu. Is there any objection? The chair hears none and uh, the resolution is hereby approved. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, may this representation be recognized for the formal adoption of proposed resolution number 2022 dash 44. Yes, proceed, Honorable Leva. Uh, with the uh, indulgence of the presiding officer, who is the co-author of this uh, proposed resolution, may I move for the resolution expressing deepest condolences to the bereaved family of the late Engineer Cerillo S. Manilia Jr., former provincial engineer of the provincial government of Marinduque. I so move, Madam Chair. There is a motion unanimously seconded uh, for the adoption of a resolution expressing deepest condolences to the bereaved family of the late engineer Cirilo Morilia Monilia Sr., who served as former provincial engineer of the Pro provincial government of Marinduque, and it is hereby approved. May, may uh, we just know kung saan po naka... Uh, nasa Lusay na po siya, doon po siya nakaburol and if you will allow me, I'm going to handle it, uh, it tomorrow. Uh, the uh, internment will be on Sunday. Hindi po siya dadalhin sa Marin, okay? Doon na po yata. Okay, so uh, the uh, Honorable Leva, uh, so you are amenable to, re to yes. bring... <laughs> Honorable Leva is uh, hereby authorized also to to personally hand over the resolution of condolence to the family. Madam Chair. Uh, Proceed, may, Honorable Leva. May this representation be recognized for the accompanying resolution of the Joint Committee on Rules, Laws, and Ordin uh, on Ordinances and Environmental Protection and Human Curly. Uh, I would like to correct myself. I would like to ask for the recognition of the chairperson of the Committee on Environmental Protection, the Honorable Tres Mangkukang. Honorable Mangkukang, uh, Chair of the Committee on Environment, is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. May I formally move for the adoption of a resolution? A resolution declaring anew the 50th, 50th moratorium in the province of Marinduque for large-scale and small-scale mining, excluding sand and gravel quarry, and the strong opposition of the province 
to all mining exploration and MPSA applications encompassing the province of Marinduque. I so move, Madam Chair. May the presiding officer again be reminded of the the line with regard to the strong opposition of the province. Yes, Madam Chair. Paki ulit lang po, and the strong opposition of the province. And the strong opposition of the province to all mining exploration and MPSA applications encompassing the province of Marinduque. Isa pa pong resolution naman Okay, there is a motion for the adoption of the resolution as cited. Is there any second to the motion? Is there any second to the motion? <laughs> <laughs> Duly seconded the Honorable Cavales, Honorable Leva, Honorable Buchi Rosales, Honorable Lim for the adoption of a resolution declaring a new declaring a new 50-year mining moratorium in the province of Marinduque for both large and small-scale mining operations and activities but excluding sand and gravel, acquiring and manifesting strong opposition of the province to all mining applications and MPSA encompassing the province of Marinduque. MPSA applications encompassing the province, the province of Marinduque is hereby adopted. Another resolution to be sponsored by the chairperson of the Committee on Environment and Human Ecology. Thank you again, uh, Madam Chair, and uh, maraming salamat po sa ating uh, uh, floor leader. Again, we I uh, formally uh, move for the adoption of a resolution earnestly requesting the honorable members of the 19th Congress to adopt a continuation of the request for the refiling of a mining free zone bill as authorized by honorable Lord Alan J.Q. Velasco, Marinduki Loan District Representative. I so move, Madam Chair. Uh, before, is there any second to the motion? Julie seconded. Before, before we discuss on this, uh, to adopt the, a continuation of the request, what do we mean by mm. to adopt a continuation of the request? Why don't we just request for the refiling, refiling. of the case, uh, of the case, refiling of the uh, bill or to consider the the refiled bill if there is a bill already filed by by uh, the, the the representative from Marinduque? Yes, any any as far as uh, uh, comment may, on that? May yes, honorable Lema. Yes, uh, I agree with the presiding officer. As far as my research, uh, my research uh, is concerned, there is no. Uh, repiling yet in the, during the 19th Congress of this uh, bill, so I move for an, an amendment uh, amendment that instead that we delete to adopt a continuation uh, instead to request for the repiling so that it will read uh, will read the the, the phrase adopt a continuation of the will be deleted so that the uh, resolution will be amended to read as follows to adopt a resolution earnest requesting the honorable mem ah, honorable uh, requesting the honorable lord alan j q Bilasco to repile the mining prison bill subject to style and probably requesting the 16, the members of the 16th uh, Congress, Congress to support, support the same. It's easy. It's uh. Is that amenable to the 
Mr. What is President. the what is the comment of the the uh, chair of the committee on environment? environment? Are you amenable to yes, the uh, amendment? We are amenable on this. This is a thing so the, the title and the uh, substance will be amended to the effect that the request will be addressed to this to the representative of Marinduque in the lower house instead of to the general membership but it can be re addressed also for the support yes. for the support no? so there is a motion a revi an amended motion yes, for the adoption of a resolution requesting the the representative of marinduque in the 19th congress honorable lord alan j quinto velasco to Marinduque Lone District representative to refile the mining free zone bill for Marinduque and to uh, and to to ask and to request the members of the 19th Congress for their support. Is there any second to the motion? Julie seconded. Any objection? The chair hears none. The resolution. Requesting Honorable Lord Alan Quinto Velasco to refile the mining free zone bill for Marinduque and requesting the, nine, the members of the 19th Congress to support it is hereby adopted. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, may this representation be recognized for the remaining accompanying resolutions of the committee report of the joint committee. Again, uh, Honorable Leva. Uh, Madam Chair, may I move for adoption of a resolution respectfully requesting His Excellency President Ferdinand R. Marcos Jr. to deny with finality the appeal for mineral production sharing agreement in the old Marcapper mining project and other areas in the province which was religiously rejected by the Mines and Sciences Bureau and the Department of Environment and Natural Resources. I so move. There is a motion uh, by Bukaleva, Ju Julie seconded by Honorable uh, Mangkukang. Is there any uh, objection to the uh, motion as, as uh, mentioned? The Chair hears none. The resolution The resolution uh, requesting the Honorable uh, uh, His Excellency Ferdinand E. Ferdinand e. Uh, Marcos Jr. to deny with finality the mineral production sharing agreement of Mark Upper uh, Mining Corporations for the old Mark Upper, Mark Upper Mining Corporation Pubalang ang applicant or any of its subsidiaries you may you may not want to consider yes i we will uh, we, we are uh, amenable to that uh, the applicant Martin. of mark copper and all its uh, partners and subsidiaries yes. uh, for the old mark copper project in the old mark copper mine site and other areas in the marinduque areas in marinduque covered by such application is hereby approved thank you very much another resolution is for the approval of a resolution authorizing the governor to file opposition to all mining and mineral production sharing agreement applications within the territorial jurisdiction of the province of Mariduque. i so move madam chair MPSA uh, applications lang po ba or any other forms of uh, uh, other mining applications? All mining exploration. Mining applications. And mining MPSA application. All mining mm. exploration. Applications. And application. In? In the province of Mariduque and MPSA applications. All mining operations, activities, and explorations and MPSA applications in, within the territorial jurisdiction of the province of Marinduque. 
Is there any second to that motion? Duly seconded by Honorable Mangkukang. Is, is there any uh, objection? The chair hears none. That's a resolution authorizing the uh, Governor Presbytero Velasco Jr. for and in behalf of the province of Marinduque to file opposition to all to all mineral production sharing agreement applications, mining explorations and other forms of mining applications for in the province of Marinduque is hereby covering any area in the province of Marinduque is hereby approved. Did I capture it correctly? Yes, Honorable um, and Honorable uh, Leva. Thank you. It is hereby approved. Madam Chair, may this representation again be recognized for the accompanying resolution of the Committee of the Whole. Madam Chair, may I move for the adoption of a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor Presbyterian J. Velasco to execute and sign for and in behalf of the province of Marinduque the implementation management agreement with the Department of Agriculture Philippine Rural Development Project for the PRDP sub-project for the implementation of the PRDP sub-project Improvement Upgrading of Kaganhaw Amingon May Bupad to Market Road in the Municipality of Buak. Is there any, any second to the motion as uh, mentioned? Duly seconded. Santa Cruz, you can hear Duly seconded by Honorable Caballes, Honorable Mangol, Honorable Rihano. Is there any um, objection? The chair hears none. That's a resolution granting authority to the governor, Presbyterio Velasco Jr. to execute and sign for and in behalf of the province of Marinduque the implementation management agreement or EMA with the Department of Agriculture for the DAPRDP project for the improvement upgrading of Kaganhaw Aming on Maibo Farm to Market Road in the municipality of Buak is hereby approved. Madam Chair, may I ask to recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Appropriation for the adoption of resolutions accompanying Committee Report Number 31-2022. Honorable Caballes, Chair of the Committee on Appropriation is recognized. Uh, thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, uh, as the chairperson of the Committee on Appropriations, I formally move for the adoption of the following resolutions. Number one, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 830,000 pesos for various MOE accounts under the Office of the Provincial Treasurer. Number two, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 1,805,742 pesos for various MOE accounts under the Provincial Tourism Office. Number three, a resolution providing for the increase in the daily food subsistence allowance of, of persons deprived of liberty from 50 pesos a day to 70 pesos a day in the Marinduca Provincial Jail and appropriating funds for the purpose. Number four, a resolution appropriating the amount of 2 million pesos under the Office of the Provincial Governor for the purchase of a lot intended for the construction and establishment of Kadiwa Warehouse at Barangay Cabuyo, Orijos. Number 5, a resolution appropriating the total amount of 1,120,000 pesos for MOE, other professional services account, and other general services account under the Santa Cruz District Hospital. And finally, a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor, Presbyterio J. Velasco Jr., to enter into a memorandum of agreement for and behalf of the provincial government of Marinduque and the DOH CHD in Maropa <coughs> for the transfer and utilization of. A fund amounting to 980,000 pesos for the procurement of health commodities to support the implementation of COVID-19 vaccination deployment and routine vaccination. Madam Chair. There is an omnibus motion by the uh, by Honorable Caballes for the adoption of the six resolution uh, resolutions as uh, as uh, mentioned. Is there any second to the motion? I second. Duly seconded by Honorable Leva. Honorable uh, Mercy Rehano. Is there any objection? The omnibus motion for the adoption of the six resolutions as mentioned is hereby approved. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, may I ask to recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Local Economic Enterprise 
for the Committee Report Number 32-2022 of the Joint Committee on Local Economic Enterprise and the Committee on Rules, Laws, and Ordinances. Proceed, uh, Honorable Leva. Honorable Lim, uh, may I ask that we recognize Honorable, Honorable Lim is recognized. Thank you, Madam Chair. Madam Chair, I move that we pass a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor, Secretary J. Velasco Jr., to, uh, to apply for economic zone in Balogo Port and other proposed areas in uh, Ino, Kapayang, Mugpog, and uh, former Marcapur Mine Site, Barangay Labo, and San Antonio, Santa Cruz, and to appoint representative for the said purpose, Madam Chair. So move. Before we proceed, may the presiding officer just be uh, appraised if the documents that we've been requesting during yes, the committee uh, hearing has been provided to us as reference? If it is not yet provided to us, it, it will be subject of the uh, of the uh, resolution, subject to the submission of the uh, mentioned documents, uh, I, I think, master plan, project brief, project brief, uh, project brief. the initial plan. No? So there is a, a motion um, revised. Uh, um, uh, is the the honourable gentleman from Santa Cruz amenable to the consideration to I am amenable, Madam Chair. To, to to be subject to that condition? So is there any second to the motion? Duly seconded by Honourable Mangol, Honourable Leva, Honourable Red. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. The resolution granting authority to honorable to uh, the honorable governor Presbitero Velasco Jr. to apply for the economic zone in Balogo Port and other proposed areas in Ino Kapayang Mugpog and the former Mark Upper Mine site in Barangay Labo and San Antonio Santa Cruz. Does the motion al al already include the appointment of representative? Yes, Madam Chair. And to appoint representative for the said uh, purpose subject to the submission of the documents as required during, as requested during the committee hearing is hereby approved. Another uh, resolution, uh, proposed resolution, Madam Chair. I move that, uh, this is relative to the committee report, I move that we pass a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor, Secretary J. Velasco Jr., to negotiate and to offer the possible purchase of uh, adjoining lots intended for economic zone in Balogo Port, Santa Cruz, to be used for port facilities, ship repair and dry dock, warehouse, cold storage, and other uh, related structures. Madam Chair, I so move. Again, are the documents required? Requested with regard to the uh, uh, covered areas of adjoining lots that are being subject of the request submitted already. Meron na po ba tayo kung ano uh, uh, yung documents kung ano ano pong mga lupa yung pong ating uh, kino consider for this? Meron na. Again, meron. Ah, meron. Meron na. Maybe we hear from our secretary? Madam Presiding Officer, dun po sa original request ng Governor, meron pong nakatouch ng mga listahan ng mga landowners okay. that will be subject of the negotiation and offering. Okay, thank you. And uh, if ever it will be adopted, please consider uh, those lists as an attachment as part and parcel of the resolution. So there is a motion duly seconded for the adoption of... Uh, for the adoption of the resolution granting authority to Honorable Governor Presbytero Velasco to negotiate, offer, and purchase the, adjo the adjoining lots intended for economic zone in Balogo Port, Santa Cruz, to be used for port facilities, ship repair and dry dock, warehouse, cold storage, and other related structures is hereby approved. Finally, Madam Chair, I move the, to pass a resolution for the creation of an ad hoc committee on the establishment of economic zone in the province of Mariduque, which members shall be composed of the following. 
the governor, the provincial administrator, the uh, vice governor, the chairperson of the following committees, Committee on Local Economic Enterprise, Public Partnership and Investment Promotion, Committee on Ways and Means, Committee on Environmental Protection and Human Ecology, Committee on uh, Trade and Industry, Committee on Rules, Laws and Ordinances, Committee on Appropriation, the Provincial Legal Officer, the Provincial Assessor, the Representative from the uh, LEDPO, and the Representative from the Local Finance Committee. So move, Madam Chair. Is there any second, duly seconded by Honorable Mangkukang, Honorable Leva, Honorable Mangol? Is there any, uh, and Honorable Red, is there any objection? The Chair hears none. Thus, a resolution creating an ad hoc committee for the establishment of economic zone in the province of Marinduque with the membership uh, mentioned by the uh, proponent is hereby approved. Madam Chair, may I ask to recognize the chairperson of the Committee on Health and Decision for the uh, adoption of the company resolution under Committee Report Number 33-22 of the Joint Committee on Health and Decision and the Committee on Rules, Laws and Ordinances. Honorable uh, Office Mercado is uh, recognized. I move for the approval of a resolution authorizing the Honorable Governor Presbyterian J. Velasco Jr. to enter into, execute, and sign the Memorandum of Agreement or MOA for and in behalf of the Provincial Government of Marinduque and the DOST Numeropa Regional Office with regard to the project malnutrition mitigation using Rice Mongo Instant Food Blend Project for the province of Marinduque. I so move, Mr. Presiding Officer. There is a motion by Honorable O. Peace Mercado, duly seconded by Honorable Mangkukang, Honorable Mangol, for the adoption of uh, such resolution as uh, mentioned. So there is a uh, motion, duly seconded. Is there any objection? The chair hears none. Thus, uh, the resolution granting authority to our Governor Presbytero, Honorable Presbytero Velasco Jr. to enter into a MOA with DOST Mimaropa for the uh, me for the purpose mentioned by the proponent is hereby approved. We now go to the calendar of until uh, the next scheduled session.